Now for this next experiment, you're going to need some water and a balloon. And you can use your stove top and a saucepan if you like, or if you have a fancy setup like this, you can use a burner and a stand and a mesh along with a flask. You're basically just wanting to heat up some water. Okay? So go ahead and pour some water into your container and then stretch the neck of the balloon over the end. Get some adult help to help you light the burner on the bottom and just wait to see what happens. Now if you don't have a fancy setup like this, here's what you do on your stove. You want to grab a pot and into the pot you want to put an inch or two of water. Now into that pot you're going to put a plastic bottle that also has some water in it. Okay, And stretch a balloon over the top end of your bottle. You're going to put this whole thing onto the stove. Now if you're thinking, whoa, wait a minute, this is plastic, it's going to melt. Well, you might want to go back and do that experiment we did where we put water inside the balloon and held it over a flame. Do you remember what happened? Water has a very high heat capacity, meaning that the energy that goes into warming up the pot is going to get transferred to the water liquid that you put inside. That's going to get hot faster than your bottle is. Now your bottle's not going to melt because the water is going to absorb all the energy. What you're wanting to do is heat up the air inside so you can see whether hot air or colder air takes more space. After your water starts to boil, you're going to see this happen. Do you notice that the balloon started to inflate? This tells you that the gas inside is expanding because it's taking up more room. Do you see all the small little bubbles in there? That's water vapor as well as air being released and boiling out of the liquid form. Now the longer we leave this, the larger your balloon's going to become. Now since we don't want our balloon getting too hot and popping, I'm going to remove the heat and allow the system to cool. One of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to have hot water splash all over you because either your vessel broke or the balloon ruptured. So just do the experiment as far as you can see the balloon start to inflate and then turn off your heat and allow it to cool. What do you think is going to happen to the balloon now?